back to another My Damn Toys video today, ladies and gentlemen. We are back at it again with action figure surgery. It's been a little bit since we got in some surgery, man, but I think we got a good episode today that we're going to bounce back from, and it should be really excellent. Really excited to dive into the surgery here today, and my camera's a little too tall. I don't like it. There we go, right? So today we're back with action figure surgery. I think it's episode number 65. We kind of hit a wall there with the surgeries, right? We kind of hit a wall there. We weren't doing it. I really didn't have a ton of stuff. Like, we were getting figures, but none of the surgery was coming to my brain, right? I had to focus, had to recenter and get my mind focused on some surgery. But I think we got some stuff going on here today that I'm excited to see how it comes out, where it comes out, you know, and see if we can actually swing this thing. Now, I will say, I think there are a couple other things I'd like to do. I'm just trying to figure them all out in my brain exactly first, and then I'll be able to do it. So, you know, I'm still kind of getting over that and trying to get everything swung together. But let's shut the hell up and dive into what we're doing here today on action to figure surgery. All right, so guys, starting out first, First, we do have the Elite 86 Seth Rollins on the table. Now, if you're wondering about the rest of the wave, I really couldn't think of anything, right? I have three Elite 86 Seth Rollins right here because we're going to fix some up. But, like, Carmella was pretty much perfect, you know? Not a ton of stuff to do with her figure unless I had multiple copies of it. If I had multiple copies, I probably could. But the Miz was pretty much perfect. I mean, it was the Elite 69 in white gear. Sid, not much to do with him. You had the Bray Wyatt figure, same deal, kind of the same stuff. And what was the last figure in the set? Triple H. I really really couldn't think of anything, man. So, we're here today with our surgery. We got Seth Rollins. That's some good stuff, man. You know, he's kind of like one of the MVPs of the surgery, but one of these I would like to keep how it is. You know, I don't want to change too much about it. I kind of just want to fix up some of the things that Mattel didn't do, like uh, just a simple, like, couple swaps here and there, and, you know, uh, one thing I want to do is switch out this hand. I think switching out this hand, I want to put some gauntlets on his arms, but I don't know exactly which ones just yet, and you know, I don't have, like, I don't think I have a jacket to put on him just yet with, like, the fur so until that moment, I'm going to leave him kind of like he is. We are going to switch the hand out, but not a ton of stuff going on with the first one. But we do have two more of that figure that we're also going to get into. And something that was completely random the other day, I ordered something from Amazon that had nothing to do with WWE Elite figures or action figures. And my Fan Takeover X-Pac arrived in the mail. So, like, I'm thinking I, I ordered this thing and I'm just waiting on it to come in. It comes in, I open the box, and I was like, oh, it was the item and the Fan Takeover X-Pac. And I was like, well, that's just random like you know what I'm saying so I thought that was pretty funny but now we have the fan takeover NWO X-Pac and one thing I want to do with these guys is I, I think if I get a couple more I could probably take these kick pads and you know make a like NWO gear for somebody or something I think that'd be pretty cool also this figure feels good in the hand but like his stance is a little wide so that's a little bit off-putting like I didn't get to do a full-fledged review on this guy if you guys would like to see that let me know but I think one thing I want to do is head swap these guys I think that the tongue out head sculpt over here with the black bandana would look really good over here and this head sculpt would look really good over here on the dx one so we're gonna switch them i may just remove the headband or do so i don't know i'll figure it out but i think a head swap between these two would be really fire as well moving on forward guys we do have luchasaurus back here now if you're thinking oh we're gonna give him you know we're gonna give him some some kick pad rotation that is unfortunately not gonna happen i don't know how to do that unless i it would require a lot i'd have to like switch the lower legs with elite 57 seth rollins and that's a whole deal and spiel and I just don't think I'm going to do that. So I, I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, but one thing I am going to do, I don't think I'm going to do that. But I think I'm going to exacto knife off these little uh, curler things right here. These little uh, whatever tassels. I'm going to exacto knife those off and make it where he can actually bend his knee. Because if you guys have taken a look at his knee bend, it's like non-existent. It's like less than 90 degrees. And uh, that's too cold for me. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to fix that up. That's Luchasaurus. We got that going. Next up, guys, we have more Seth Rollins fix. Up. One thing I'm super excited about, we are going to make an MDT Live sort of inspired gear, and I think what I'm going to do is if I, I want to switch the head sculpt with like this head over here, because I want the hair down, I don't want the hair up, I want the hair down because it's like a, you know, it's it's not a promo gear, it's a wrestling gear. So I'm going to switch the hand for a skin tone hand because he doesn't wear the gloves on MDT Live, and I'm also going to acetone off all these question marks so that it is a plain pink attire with the black and the silver, and I don't know what I'm going to do about the Monday Night Party just yet. I don't know if I want to like acetone off this silver here and then fill in the lines with silver and black so that it's just uniform like this over here or if I would like to do something else like put, you know, like I can't put MDT Rollins Live or Live Rollins or MDT or My Damn Rollins. Yeah, I don't know. It just doesn't make sense. It doesn't, it's, it's kind of dumb. Unless I put MDT Live like just straight up MDT Live and then fix this, I might do that but at the moment I don't know what I want to do just yet so we're just going to leave the Monday Night thing 
everything there and also acetone this off and I don't think I'm gonna paint Messiah like hand paint Messiah right here just yet I think I may get a decal for that just because it would be kind of complicated and all that but this is gonna look really good once it's completed I think that's gonna be really sick to you know fix that up fix the hand do do the head swaps and stuff like that and actually this head swap will be great because this will be like Survivor Series where he had the you know the ponytail man bun thing on this custom Survivor Series Rollins so that'll work as well and last but not least I can't even what was I doing I think I was gonna ah uh, jeez I think I wanted to put a different head on here and possibly switch the kick pads but I don't know exactly what I want to do just yet I do know that I want to switch the hand to fix the you know the oh yeah yeah, yeah, yeah never mind I want to make an in match version so this is the pre-match version I want to make an in match version so we're gonna switch the gloved hand and switch the head sculpt with probably the Wrestlemania 36 Rollins that I have you know in the all white gear and that'll be it for that so let's dive into surgery all right guys for I almost said for for our first order of business we gotta bring our first experience with a dinosaur into the lab into the medical table and we're gonna have to precisely do this and I want to do it super extra careful and I'm gonna do my best not to slice something that I'm not supposed to because if I mess up this luchasaurus I'm gonna have to mess myself up so let's just go ahead I'm gonna it'll probably just be like a little time lapse I'm gonna try and cut this off and try to keep it even and try to make it nice that way you know we can fix this articulation issue right here and see if we can get it going Okay, uh, I thought that they would be completely molded in gold. I did not think that they would have those black lines right there. I thought for sure that the full thing would be gold. The whole thing would be, you know, whatever. So when I cut it, it would match the same color. So the fact that it didn't match the same color is bothersome, you know? I don't like that whatsoever. I may have to end up just switching the knee completely or something or, or doing something different because not that the knee pad really matters that much. Like, I bet I could find, like, some Mattel knee pads that, you know, I could switch out like Elite 57 Rollins or somebody like that. I bet I could find some. We'll have to see, but I'm just going to leave it like this. I'm definitely not going to put gold paint over it because it's just going to fall off, but the black kind of ties into this black down here. It doesn't bother me that much, but God, I wish we had kick pad rotation, man. That is, that is definitely bothersome, like no doubt about it. And yeah, I, uh, well... There goes that. All right, guys, next order of business. For this one, really not too much, you know? All we gotta do is just pop out this. See, the, the issue with the Mattel figures sometimes, man, is they make the peg skin tone when they don't need to be skin tone, and then they'll make the peg white or black for the wrist tape when they're supposed to be skin tone. So I don't know why that happens, but I'm just gonna plop in this solid black one, and when I find a wrist gauntlet, I'll put it in there, but that looks so much better there. And now my Seth Rollins is completely fixed. So that's the one we needed to do, but we also needed to do some others we gotta do some head swaps and some hand swaps so if we bring down my wrestlemania 36 rollins right here i'm hoping we still get this at some juncture you know i'd really like to see this officially from mattel shoulders a little bit loose don't really care for that too much but uh need to head swap it with uh my other rollins and before we do that i do need to hand swap this so we're gonna head or hand swap this one with this one because this one has a solid black this is like my my Monday Night Messiah over here for the time being. So now we can put this over here and now that is completed. Now we can pop this over here and then all we have to do is head swap the man bun head with the hair down head so that you know it'll be like a you know I'll have a hair down version and a or a pre-match version and a post-match version. With that being said we have to heat up this head. We got the trusty white hair dryer in the mix. I gotta be careful again. Gotta be super duper careful because I don't want to ruin anything. You know you don't want to mess anything up. But there is that. I don't want the acid tone in there either so we have this here got to heat up the head got to heat up this head as well and then we also have to heat up this head god this is super scary man this is like terrifying i am so afraid right now when you're messing with head sculpts bro that is when you you can mess up royally like head sculpts are not to be messed around with honestly like oh geez i don't like this i'm very afraid again you want to remove your accessories so the headband will go away the t-shirt will also go away so you guys can see what this x-pac looks like as well so we can just slap this shirt 
right off. And I could have sworn I thought he had chest hair. He does not have chest hair. And if you guys are wondering, he's not on ball joints either. So the new X-Pac is not that way. He's not about that life. So don't think he's about that life because he's not. And you don't want to be disappointed, Brad. So he's not about that life and you hate to see it. But all right, there we go. Now we got to get the white trusty hair dryer in here. Go ahead and place him in position. Been a while since he's been active. Kind of afraid. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Oh, God, I'm afraid. All right, guys. Uh, let's see if Dr. Whitekiss has still got this, man. Still afraid. Still afraid. X-Pac. X-Pac! I may have to do this off camera. Again, bro, they make the neck holes way too tiny. They like to upset Dr. Whitekiss. Okay, this one. Okay, <laughs> I know you heard that. Okay, this one. This, 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 this. That didn't sound good at all. We're going to have to heat that up off camera. That is not happening, bro. And look at that splitsy right there. Yeah, you tried to mess me up. Look at your face. Yeah, you tried it. You tried it! All right, let's move on. Uh, WrestleMania. 36 Rollins. Actually got that off quite nicely. Didn't expect it. Did not expect it. Seth Rollins. Actually got it off pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and plop this over here. The torso is kind of super loosey-goosey a little bit, so that's kind of bothersome. I'd like to see an ultimate Seth Rollins in the WrestleMania 36 gear with, like, the trench coat and the hair up, hair down. That'd be really dope to see. That's just something that popped in my brain, but let's go ahead and plop this over to here. I think both of these, right, are getting that treatment. Yeah, I think bo yeah, both of these are getting the same head swap treatment. Okay, so that pops off there. There's a little split in this as well. I do not like the split going on right there, but there's that plopping the... Like, why is that torso so John Brown gappy? I do not like that, but we got the head swap. We'll put him over here. We got our Messiahs flying off the shelves. All right, now we have to plop this over here. So let's go ahead and get the hair down head sculpt over here. And, all right, we got our head swaps, except for that one X-Pac one. This, like, uh, that didn't get heated up enough, and I know you heard that crack, bro. That crack was insane, so we'll have to do that in a minute. But, okay, this is my hair down version, so we'll take a closer look at that in a minute. And then the last thing that I need to do now is go ahead and just plop this out. And we're going to plop this in over here, and then we're going to have the base for our pink attire Rollins, which should be really sick at the end of the day. Like, when it's all said and done, this should be a really, really dope-looking Rollins. Like, I'm so excited to see what it looks like without that, you know, without the uh, question marks on there and all that. And then we'll also, another thing I was thinking about is uh, if I could find, like, some pink kick pads or something, that would be cool. But for the MDT Live attire, you know, pink, black, silver, that's the colors of the show. He's on there, you know, all that stuff so maybe it'll be cool to wear on the next episode of mdt live or something so so what we need to do is we need to heat up these head sculpts and i need to you know do the head swap for the x-pac and then uh the next thing you guys will see will be the time lapse of getting these question marks off these tights All right, guys, so here's everything that we did today on Action Figure Surgery. Now, I know it kind of probably seemed like we didn't do a whole lot. However, I mean, by the look of the figures, I think we, I'd, I'd say we did some pretty good stuff. We have a total of, like, eight figures right here, which is kind of insane to even think about or grasp. But here's the Xbox. if you wanted to look at the difference between the two here. Now, I will say I like the way this one looks a lot, and I think I'd like this one if the headband was 
black or green. I, I really like both of these. I think this actually turned out to be a really great swap, like really underrated. I, I, I like this a lot. You guys can let me know what you think, but I think it turned out great, especially since the black matches. Just freaking phenomenal, man. That's what we love about surgery. That looks great. Love the way these two came out. I can appreciate that all damn day of the week. If we go on to Luchasaurus before we dive into the marathon of Rollins, you guys saw what happened. I mean, what are you gonna do, Brad? I, I don't know. If anybody out there, I, I don't I don't know nothing, but it fixed the knee bend a little bit. I think just overall, man, I may just have to get rid of these lower legs. It doesn't really bother me if his feet don't look like this like they look in real life. I don't really care for it. I don't really like the look of it anyway. I'd rather have him, you know, have kick pads on, so <clears throat> running that in the fed and stuff like that is not gonna issue me or anything, but it's kind of unbelievable that I'm looking at a Luchasaurus anyway, so I'm just glad to fix that knee bend a little bit and it definitely looks a lot better than it did even though the black spots are showing up but nobody would really notice that anyway if he's kicking somebody in the head on MDT Live or something so there is the Luchasaurus, I like the way that came out and then for our Marathon of Rollins right, so we have our two Monday Night Messiah gimmicks, you have the Survivor Series gear with this head sculpt, this head sculpt looks really good on anybody I think, you know here's the Wrestlemania one, I don't have the battle pack just yet but I think these two look really good for our like Monday Night Messiah gears right there, I don't have an issue with it if I had a cloth thing to put on this one that would be great again an ultimate edition Rollins with a hair up head sculpt a hair down head sculpt maybe a pissed off new head sculpt uh the the robe interchangeable hands the white gear with some details that would be sick AF I don't think that's in the works though unfortunately at least at this moment I think we're going to be getting Roman Reigns Rey Mysterio I feel like Batista Alexa Bliss something like that's going to be coming instead of a Rollins but you know it is what it is and then finally guys we have our SummerSlam Rollins in the pre-match gear without the jacket we have the you know during the match slash post-match besides not having the Messiah you know Messiah logos on the sides and then to end it off we do have our solid pink MDT live gear which I think looks so sick man this is sick AF I I really want to go ahead and just acetone this and make this side equal to this side because I don't I don't know I just don't know what to put right there like MDT live isn't on Monday nights you know it's not like Monday night really goes there I mean I could paint over it in silver and then put whatever I want I just don't know what to put if you guys can think of something really sick then tell me and I'll try to add it to the best of my ability or if it's really really sick or something or I think it stands out I will absolutely customize it so you guys can come up with something down in the comment section below but before we get out of here guys let's get into our random shout out before we get out of here and for this random shout out the shout out's gonna go to the real Noah who commented on our last video who said no shout out comment you're cross you're across the damn line Brad I thought I would be featured well now you're featured Brad now you're featured and you're cross I, I, I are cross the damn line you are cross the damn line who do you think you are? I am.